So we have a beautiful afternoon rain squall coming in. As you look at the space in front, you can see how the ocean's being affected by the wind coming out of the west. The storm is coming from right to left. So far, it just started to rain. You can begin to hear the thunder. More rain. And if you'll notice, the color of the ocean mimics the color of the rain-filled cloud. And you can see sheets of rain coming down right at, almost in the middle of the picture here. So what you're looking at is the continuity of the fluid body. Of course, the fluid body of the planet. Gradually, as this storm cell moves from right to left, we'll get heavier rain. I'm barely inside under the cover of our porch, and I can feel the rain coming in on my feet. Now let's take a look a little more closely and see the continuity of the fluid body. The atmosphere is filled with rain. A fairly heavy rain. Not too much wind yet. But you can see how blurry the image gets. Ocean below, a zone of rain, and the rain cloud above. Which is which if we were to turn the camera upside down? So even with the human body, our fluid nature, 99% of the molecules in the human body are water, constantly evaporating, leaving the skin, filling the space around our body. constant exchange of heat, warmth, especially the infrared spectrum, fueling the water inside of our body, making it charged just like the clouds and the thunder produce lightning. That infrared and other sources of energy coming into the body. create a charge and makes the biological water in our body like a battery. Powering essential functions in the human body. <laughs> 